Matthew 6, verses 22 through 23. The eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eyes are unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light within you is darkness, how great is that darkness? My boys want to go camping tomorrow. One of the things we love to do when camping is to play games, card games, usually Uno, inside the tent after dark. Of course, we need a lamp to do it. Without a lamp to light the inside of the tent, there is such little light that we can't see the color of the cards. Red, blue, green, yellow, they all look just the same. There's enough light to see around the tent. It's not completely pitch, but there isn't enough photons of light to bounce off the cards into our eyes to tell which color is which. Have you ever put a red apple and a green apple side by side in a windowless room with a dimmer switch and lowered the light until you could not tell which apple was red and which was green? When there is not a sufficient amount of light, you can't tell the true color of the apple. So what happened? Did the apples cease being red and green? Was there a chemical pigment change in either of the apples? Of course not. But without light to tell the full story, your brain has no way to perceive which apple is which. When Jesus says the eye is the lamp of the body, it's like he's talking about my body as the tent I use with my boys to go camping. We need a way to bring light into it in order to see things correctly. The eye is the path of light into our bodies that visual processing center in the back of our brains that decodes and interprets what we are seeing. And the eye has specialized cells that pick up different photons in the color spectrum, as long as there are enough photons to enter the eye. Of course, Jesus is using metaphor here and not giving a physics or biology lesson. Normally, people commenting on this say, on this uh, saying of Jesus, focus on whether we spend time looking at good things or bad things. And there are consequences to our psyche and spiritual condition. So if I spend my time binging on Netflix shows, then I will feel depressed, anxious, lethargic, etc., and not be spiritually sensitive to God or motivated to read the Bible. Well, that may be true, but could it be that this only scratches the surface of what Jesus is saying? Drawing on the physical side of the metaphor, if the healthy eye is one that is functioning as it is designed, then it captures light and has the cells to distinguish the photons of the color spectrum and can send all this information reliably through the optic nerve into the visual cortex for processing, interpretation, categorization, and pattern recognition. The unhealthy eye is the eye not functioning properly. And somewhere along the way, this process breaks down, providing unreliable information to the brain, which cannot be interpreted or categorized correctly. On the spiritual side of this metaphor, the eye is what we use to look at the world. Not the physical biological world, but our sociological world. The world of other people and our relationships with them, our interconnection with each other and society as a whole. You only need to scroll through your newsfeed on Facebook to see the ways in which we perceive our world differently, quite differently from each other. We are clearly processing and interpreting the same things we are looking at in very different ways. But more than that, social media also demonstrates the effect within our bodies. Is there light or is there darkness? I don't think Jesus is saying we all need to look at things the same way. In other words, come to the same conclusions and opinions and share the same ideas so that everything becomes uniform in the way we see and think and talk to each other. Humanity has never demonstrated a penchant for uniformity. At the same time, unity, of which uniformity is a cheap and perverse knockoff, appears to be a miracle for us humans. And the issue with unity is an issue of light and darkness. I think light from a healthy eye has to do with empathy, with education, with honesty, and with vulnerability. It means having different opinions, but always forming these opinions based on these things, 
seeking to understand issues and people's experiences from within their shoes with the maximum amount of facts and evidence possible and being able to admit what we aren't aware of and still don't know. It also means that we communicate our opinions, thoughts, and questions to other people in ways that demonstrate respect and own our feelings. An unhealthy eye is not empathetic, not educated, not honest, and does not want other people to know it, and so cannot be vulnerable. In other words, we have an unhealthy eye when we act like we know what we are talking about and we don't care to put ourselves in another's shoes. Jesus doesn't teach this to describe people. He teaches it to describe me. Me, when I have a healthy eye. Me, when I have an unhealthy eye. I'm capable of having both in my same body. I vacillate between them. There are times when I shut off my healthy eye and live in the world in a very unhealthy way. Red and green apples become the same thing, and I spend my time spreading darkness instead of sharing light. If I need help with my unhealthy eye, I can always turn it back to Jesus. How he interacted with people and treated them. How he saw the world and how he shows us the world to come. If that can't cure my eye, then I don't know what can.